So here we are in the garage because it's uh, about to rain. It's been raining for like two and a half weeks now, or it's been wet for like two and a half weeks. It's been snowing and then it's been raining all week. But uh, yeah, we got the G37 wheels. Uh, I think 40 grit sandpaper on the polisher here. We're just gonna hit it. These are actually worse than uh, I thought it was gonna be, but uh, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> I actually found some uh, full, f I, don't, I don't know what the full name of it is, because it's like, it's a pretty long name, but it's like full faced alloy. They're like uh, $500 for a, uh, a wheel. And I found it uh, on um, Craigslist for pretty cheap, like, roughly 250 a wheel with tires included so uh i kind of want to grab those but i kind of want to finish these first to see what it kind of looks like and then uh grab those and then maybe sell these once i paint it but yeah we'll see <laughs> After the first pass pretty bad still um, probably gonna have to use Bondo to fill in these uh, super deep scratches like this one right here all up on the edge of the wheel is pretty bad there's uh, some paint bubbling right here that I didn't see that I have to hit got the 100 grit now Last one, 240. So basically done with the, I think it was 240 grit, but uh, yeah, it's looking better at least. I just need to fill in the deeper scratches. What time is it? Hour and a half for one wheel. But I think I want to go with like a dark gunmetal. I think it'll look pretty good with the uh, the black GS350. Just, uh, get started cleaning the other wheels and then uh, check back in later. Alrighty, so I cleaned them up, degreased them, and then used a wheel cleaner to uh, basically get them all clean or as clean as possible. Two wheels up ready to uh, apply the Bondo. Uh, these wheels aren't that bad, actually. These two wheels that I already applied Bono 2, which I did a pretty fast job because I was just rushing it, which you probably shouldn't do, but yeah, you can see the amazing job I did. Uh, brother, uh, what's that? Got some uh, wax paper here. I'm just going to mix the Bondo on here and then uh, apply it really quick. start with the 180 grit and then uh, just go up from there so this is what it looks like after I uh, sand it down it doesn't look too bad actually there are some spots I'm gonna have to go over again with the Bondo like this part right here you can still feel the uh, little scratch right there just uh, there's a few spots like here but yeah, other than that, it's uh, pretty smooth. Like the the edge of the wheel is pretty smooth. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started on the other three and uh, check back later. The other three aren't as bad as uh, this one over here. This one was probably the worst one. But yeah, the other three is just uh, mostly just curb rashes on the edges. Not really any major gouges on the, uh, what are these called again? Spokes, yeah. Alrighty, uh, sanded down most of the wheels. I'm pretty sure I missed some spots, but uh, get some alcohol, rub it down, and then um, like uh, put some more Bondo on the parts that I missed. Like uh, this one, there's a bunch of like deeper divots that uh, I need to smooth out. 
Alrighty, got the wheels outside. Gonna continue with the sanding. I uh, put another bit of Bondo on um, the parts that uh, were, that needed it. So I'm just gonna sand it, re-sand it again, and then hopefully I'll be able to prime it today. All done. I'm gonna hit it with some, like, uh, water. And just clean it up a bit to get it ready for uh, some primer. So I got them all masked off and I uh, got this Duplicolor Sandable Primer. Let's get started. I put it in some uh, warm water because it's pretty cold out. Hopefully that'll help with this stream. Second coat. Ran out of the other stuff, so I just got this uh, white stuff, white color instead. Let it dry um, overnight. So we're going to sand it with um, 400 and then 600 grit. Alrighty, got the wheels all uh, masked off and uh, ready for paint. Going to give it a quick little rub down and then we can get started. Alrighty, this is the color I'm going with. It is, so you can see it on here. Phantom Grey Pearl, and it's a uh, duplicolor for Toyota. Here's what it looks like after the first coat. Just put on a light coat. Second coat's gonna be a little bit light as well, and then third coat I'll lay it on a bit heavier. That's what uh, YouTube says to do, so that's what we're gonna do. Alrighty, I let it chill for about like 12 minutes. Let's get back to it. I think it's too cold or something because the spray paint is spitting like crazy. Probably can't see it, but yeah. There. There, it gets worse because it's the can's getting colder and uh, I keep it warmed up in between coats. So like here, it's bad. So this is about as good as it's gonna get. I'm gonna use uh, what's left of the paint to just uh, paint the, the barrels. Because as of right now, you can see kind of the old color coming through. So yeah, hopefully I'll make it look a little bit better. There you have it. Base coat's all done. I got a 2K clear coat coming in tomorrow, hopefully. Definitely not perfect at all but it'll do. I mean, from here, it looks great. You can see the imperfections and all that stuff that uh, I didn't take care of, but not too bad, I guess. I'm actually pretty happy with the color. Sorry, it's a little bit washed out. I don't have my uh, filter on, but yeah, the finish on it, it's actually pretty garbage. But yeah, I'm just gonna wipe them down and then we'll hit it with the clear coat. So I uh, got some 2K clear coat and uh, this is like a two part um, clear. So it's got a hardener in it. So it's supposed to help uh, I don't know, your paint base coat last a little bit longer, but uh, kind of shake it up, take off this cap and then uh, there's a little thing in there. Kind of put this there, push it down and it'll break like the bladder in there to uh, incorporate the, I don't know, like chemicals or some shit. But uh, yeah, and then you shake it up and then you spray it. So it's supposed to be a bit more uh, glossier than just the normal stuff you buy in the store. But uh, yeah, 
for this shot and you definitely need a uh, a mask for this as well so if you don't know now you know I don't know. so coat numero dos Definitely looking a lot smoother after the second coat, but uh, not going to help the imperfections, unfortunately, from like five feet away. Looks pretty good. I just picked up these and uh, pretty excited about it. Can't wait to uh, pop them on the car. I'm going to let these dry for about 10, 10, 15 minutes and then hit it with the last coat. And then we should be done, finally. So I grabbed these uh, NK center caps because I definitely wasn't going to use the uh, original Infinity ones once I put it on the Lexus, if I put it on the Lexus. But, uh, yeah, I'm hoping it'll fit. I think they're 54 millimeters, I want to say. Looks pretty cool, I guess. But yeah, excited to see what it looks like on the car. I bought, or I put the uh, hub-centric rings on it already because these wheels are 66.1 for the diameter. And then the, the Lexus wheels are like 60.1. So yeah. There you have it. Uh, you saw the, the wheels on the car. It didn't look too bad. Uh, it definitely looks better than the, the, the stock 18 inches that were on the car previously. But uh, yeah, the finish on on the, uh, the the job that I did was actually complete garbage. I probably should have just paid someone to do it for me. I got quoted like 500 bucks to bring it into a shop and then refinish the wheels and everything and repaint it. But uh, yeah, I think I paid in total like maybe $250, $200 for the supplies and everything. But uh, yeah, it was a good experience, I guess. On to the next one, I guess. I'll catch you guys in the next one.